Here with Jaguars rookie receiver Joshua Cephas and a, a hot training camp day, but a cool one in the stadium. It was like being out here in the big field. Man, it felt great. Uh, it was my, my first time at Everbank. Uh, I feel like I, I had a great time. The fans brought great energy throughout the whole practice, and uh, we just brought the juice today. I feel like we had a great productive day. The military appreciation angle was something different. How cool is it to, to be a part of that and see the men and women on the field at the end of practice? Man, it meant so much. Uh, you don't really get a chance to see too many vets uh, and, and show your appreciation. So uh, I'm glad we, we had a day for them. Uh, they, they came and uh, we, we got a chance to sign jerseys for them and give them those and really just express how, how much we're, we're grateful for what they do for, for us in the country. The, the path you've taken to the NFL is a little bit different, the undrafted free agent route, but that's you mentioned earlier, you're an underdog, you, you like that role. What is it about that underdog mentality and trying to make an NFL 53 man that really kind of excites you? Well, well really the, the underdog role it really just keeps you on your toes, you know, so you kind of always have to work. It forces you to always work because you don't want to stay in that position. Uh, but uh, ju just the process of being an undrafted free agent, um, I, I feel like I deserve to be drafted, but uh, I, I probably didn't do enough um, to, the, to the league standard, so um, I'm, I'm all about getting better. So I, I just want to work my way up to the 53-man roster and uh, become an elite receiver on this team. Was there a uh, welcome to the NFL moment so far here in camp where you looked out and you see you're lined up next to Christian Kirk or you're catching a pass from CJ or Trevor or Mac? What was kind of your welcome to the NFL moment for the Jags? Yeah, I, I, I've asked that same question uh, multiple times, and. I think it's multiple moments. Like it, it never really gets old to me because I still just walk in the locker room, look at my name, and like just kind of marvel at it. Like man, like I'm a I'm a Jacksonville Jaguar. And then it's always in the back of my head. Like make sure you're doing the stuff that you got to do to stay a Jacksonville Jaguar. But like you say, lining up with Christian Kirk uh, on my right, and then you see Brian Thomas or Parker Washington or even the rest of the guys, Elijah, Seth, uh, all, all of those guys. You know, so. Um, you, you, you continue to have those moments the more you play in this league. Is it, do, do you kind of pinch yourself and say, hey, I'm, I'm one of these guys right now. I'm in this league. I'm in this locker room. I'm catching passes from Trevor. I'm trying to make this 53-man roster. You, you have a pinch yourself kind of too? Oh, yeah, 100% because um, ju just, just as fast as I got here, I, I could leave just as fast. So uh, I'm just trying to make sure I'm stacking great days right on, right on top of each other and, and building my resume uh, uh, and showing them what I could do on and off the field. Um, and, and continue to, to work and be detailed at what I do. So, yeah. Have you do you appreciate that underdog mentality, that undrafted route? A lot of people who are taking take that undrafted route say they, they chip on their shoulder when they enter the league and get their shot. Do you have that too? Oh yeah, 100%. Uh, I, I feel like I got to show the league and I got to show the world uh, why they should have drafted me, uh, even though they didn't. But uh, I feel like everything happens for a reason. Maybe if I would have got drafted, I wouldn't work this hard. I, I would have felt entitled or. However, but uh, God didn't have that plan for me, so I'm just going to trust him with my process and continue to work and go get that 53-man roster. One week from right now, we're going to be standing here on the same field. The lights will be on. NFL preseason starts. Is that, is that another welcome to the NFL moment? One week from today, we're going to stand on this field with fans in the stands and uh, you seeing Patrick Mahomes in the other sideline, those guys? Yeah, that will definitely be another one. Uh, just, just seeing Pat, you know, uh, watching him for so long. Um, Man, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm starting to get speechless right now just thinking about the game. And uh, all, all I can say is I just got to make sure I work uh, throughout the week and prepare for, for the Chiefs game uh, coming up. And I think I'll be fine. I'll be able to produce. Going to be some nerves next week. You, you've had nerves in high school getting on the field for the first time, nerves in college, but NFL nerves. What is, what is, can you describe these last few months of, of being with Jaguars in the NFL locker room, what it's meant? Yeah, it meant, it's meant everything. Uh, but as far as the nerves, I, I feel like at this point I've been, I've been doing, I've been doing this for, for about 20 years now, 18, 19 years. So, uh, this, this is what I do, you know. So I don't think it'll be too much nerves, um, if any at all. But I, I'm just looking forward to, to the game coming in and me producing to show what I could do. You mentioned uh, a bit ago about you know, what's it like when you get back to the NFL. You're starting over from ground one. It's it's not like you're a freshman in college. It's almost like you're a freshman in high school, right? Getting on JV for the first time. <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly how it is. Uh, the, the game's a little faster just because guys think faster. They're able to process things faster. So the game's just a different speed than college. I think I'm adjusting pretty well getting used to that speed. So I'm looking forward to the game. Appreciate your time. Good luck next week. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.